I think that's what we have to be really paying attention to. Like that's going to be one of the big things. Is Goods going to adapt back to that corner lord style, the freestyle style, the cypher style, bringing actual bars and having things that make people go, mmm, like, you, come on, dog. He could hit you with them. If I cook it right, it came out tan, now it's looking white. Like, them bars, yeah, that ain't his bar. That's my bar. Don't steal that shit. Let me see that. Let me cook it right. We used to rap it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So, all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my brother Showtime SP. Scrap all my network partners over at Fox. And if you haven't checked out what we've been doing, we have a sports channel called Stop the Run. We got about 500 subscribers now. People have been coming in. We got about five or six videos over there where we dropping all sports content, just talking our shit and having fun. Battle rap, battle rap, battle. Ain't really been much <clears throat> going on in battle rap the past couple days. As we know, UW has their event coming up. They've got Geechee Gotti versus Enes, uh, Danny Myers versus Sharon, and a bunch of other names versus some smaller names on there. And Arsenal is battling Capo too. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, I seen Ill Will, you know, call out Aver. I think that that would be a dope battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ill Will, he just battled Hitman. You know, he had a battle with Pain. He had a battle with Pain. I'm just gonna leave it there to make it fair. If you didn't see it, I I I, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Will got smoked. You know what I'm saying? I'm just leave it. Leave it at that, man. I said I was gonna leave it there, but Will, you know, say he 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 showed up with like a round. And it was a three. It was a three-round battle. He showed up with a one-rounder in a three-round battle. I swear to God, not to make it hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Payne took it away. Um, so he's calling out Verb now. Hopefully, that's a battle that could be facilitated. Uh, I don't really know what RBE is doing. I will talk about that towards the end of this video. I did run into R. I ran into ARP, not RBE. I ran into ARP in New York this weekend at a book release. You know what I'm saying from one of my peoples. You know what I'm saying. So I'll talk about that towards the end. But I definitely want to talk about a couple things. You know what I'm saying. I'm gonna talk about the goods. I did see. I saw a goods blog. Yo, I saw a goods blog today. Y'all gonna have to find. Go find that man, B. Y'all let him talk about me. Y'all let him talk about me like that. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. That's oh, hell no. I'm gonna talk about that in one second. Uh, I did see the clean paper situation with him going back and forth with caps. You know, when you book, you book clean paper. You know what I'm saying? I said, when I said something about it, I feel like he felt the way, both of them felt the way that I said something about it. So I'm gonna just leave it alone and be like, if I, if I'm in my hood and I'm trapping or I'm selling ounces or whatever the case may be, if I know somebody that ran off on two, three people, I'm not gonna front them no words. Yeah. So it is what it is. I'm gonna just leave it there and let's keep it moving. Um, good. Shout out to Goods and and I saw him. He was at the book release too. It's one of our mutual friends. You know what I'm saying? One of the guys in the industry doing some really great things. He has a book coming out called The Brick. The Brick. Byron Harmon. B y r o n h a r o m n h a r m o n. You can check it out online. It's a definite, it's a dope ass book. It's like a hip hop thriller action. It's got a lot of different plots and twists in it. You know what I'm saying? So we were supporting that venture. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get to it. So I saw Good's blog where he responded to Big K and myself. And the funny thing is when I saw him, I didn't see the blog. Please get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Get in Ibu. He asked me that I said, I was like, nah, I didn't see it. But I asked him, did he put my name in the title? Because I was like, yo, if you responded to me, you put my name in the title, you know what I'm saying? It's going to run it up more. I mean, you responded to Big K too, so you're already going to run it up. But you know, you got to kind of throw, you know what I'm saying? Put it, go ahead, get to what I said. So um, I had made a blog the other day where I was talking about Good saying that, you know, Big K had finally got to a battle with him and that, uh, you know, Goods, Big, Goods had highlighted the fact that Big K pulled out a cell phone in the battle before and choked. And my response was, 
that he did it versus Reed Dollars and nobody really didn't give a fuck about that battle. Now, while I understand where Good's premise is, because he's saying that everything you do is for your legacy, you know what I'm saying, as a battle rapper, he don't take, like, for Goods, if you think about Goods per se, he's not a battle rapper that's going to take a bad battle or is going to take a battle that he could lose or, you know what I'm saying, or just show up unprepared because he cares about who he is as a battle rapper. And I told him this on the phone earlier, that you're not held to the same standard as everyone else. The way you treat your career, and this is a great thing, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, other people don't move like that. That's what we see, like, we're so natural now to see battlers on cards every month, taking it one round of here, one round of there, not showing up with bars. That's a horrible thing. You are doing what's good for battle rap by caring about your career. So when I'm saying nobody gave a fuck about that battle, I'm saying that when Big K showed up and didn't even do anything, it didn't really impact much is what I'm saying. So is it right what he did? Absolutely not. But is that something that I'm going to hold over him for the year that he's had? No either. So it's two ways that you could look at this. I definitely see the perspective of where you coming from. I ain't gonna hold you. I told you, I said, damn, this joint getting good. I'll watch the vlog. <laughs> I'm watching this vlog. I'm like four minutes in. I'm like, damn, this nigga cooking. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm like, damn, I gotta take me some motherfucking notes because I said, this nigga cooking, and as, a, and as a real nigga, I gotta keep it on it and tell you, like, yo, if I fire off on it at a nigga and he respond, that shit good, I gotta cut my camera on and get my thoughts right because I'm like, yo, he made a lot of sense in what he was saying. Now, another thing that he said that I wasn't looking at from the same way that he was is that. He looking at Big K in those moves that he made, the, the battles where he was like doing a little kick and like not even really like focused on battle rap. He's taking all that into account. I'm taking into account that he's been serious the last year and change and that he want this battle now. So when Goods is looking at it, he's like, we look past all of that stuff. And it, it can't be a thing that we do do that. And he was saying that uh, if if Mike P is still able to stand in front of the same angles and if, you know what I'm saying, like, like, why does it have to be a limit on what he could do, basically? He was saying that Rock is known as the gun bar king, nobody knocks him for that. He was saying, you know, if he talks about, about money, financial advice, how to get money and things, people will use it as a knock against him. I think anybody's power or what they do can be used against them. Rock has been attacked for the gun bar thing. You have been attacked for your acumen and how you go about handling business and being in life. And other people have been attacked for the things that they rap about or their style, you know what I'm saying? So that's not really a determining factor. But the bigger thing is, in you battling Big K, you were saying, and another thing that you said is that we go into things with a side kind of already picked. I don't really feel so. I feel like, and I feel like, I'm a nigga that want to see y'all battle. I want to see y'all battle. I want to see it be one of the best battles that I've seen. You know what I mean? When you was on Max out, I made, I made, I did, made the return of the Corner Lord blog. Both, and um, I, I, I watched some things yesterday. I was like, you know what? Let me see how he's performed in small rooms before. How he's been in, like, non-big stages, because a lot of y'all are talking about, oh, he's just going to talk about his 790 credit score and how he got two houses in one car and how he got, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I think you guys have got to look at it from, I know there's, everybody here is not old heads, you know what I'm saying? I'm an old head. SP is an old head, you know what I'm saying? But you got to look at it from the lion's den. If y'all don't know, see, I could take y'all back, you know what I'm saying? I'm a young old nigga. I could take you back to that era where it was Lions Den, where it was Sub-Zero, URL Smack, all that shit that y'all used to, now that wasn't around. That was not around, it was in the streets. Head Ice, Arsenal, Goods, uh, Loaded Lux, Rest in Peace Tech 9 a lot of them cats was the ones that was battling on the DVDs, battling in Black Star, battling outside, what? What if it's worth me spraying? These I got toast to leave a turkey bacon. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, and I got my cup today, and I, guys, this is what they want. See, the thing is with you, a lot of people feel like you've been commercialized, you've got to a certain point, and you forgot about the corner. I, this is what I said. I told you this yesterday. I was like, yo, through the rhetoric of what goes on in battle rap, you battling against Cal in a small room, 
they want to hear them balls. They want to hear you talk. They don't want to hear about the Toyota in the camp. They want to know what is you talking about. I watched a couple ciphers yesterday, and Good said he's in. I was the first person that was giving you a chance, that was saying what you needed to bring, how you was going, you know what I'm saying, be able to adjust back to that style, and you did just that. You did exactly what the people wanted you to do. And, and but so much that not only did I have you as doing great in that battle, I picked you as performer of the night. And like, nigga, what made you the nigga to jump out the window and just get the... <laughs> I'm so flabbergasted, bro. <laughs> I am flab... I am flabbergasted, bro. I'm flabbergasted, bro. Oh, God. I'm so confused, bro. These niggas got me fucked up. It was you, Ill Will, and Magic for uh, for uh, Raw. And between that, the judging went towards uh, Ill Will. But I had you as my pick. You know what I'm saying? In a battle that people feel like you won, people feel like Cal won. But for what I had saw that night and what you were facing and what you went up against, you know what I'm saying? I felt like, yo, boom. The, I did the Return of the Corner Log blog that did 10,000 views. You know what I'm saying? That's a good blog when I'm just talking about you being able to adjust and rap back into that small room environment. So I don't go into your battles or what you have going on with a bias. And I don't really have a bias in battle rap. I need you to understand that because when I do things like what I do at the television network, I just go get everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing good. She's doing good. They're doing good. I just go get everybody. I had URL up there, RBE up there. I'll have... Whoever's cooking shit and doing something nice in the industry, we bringing them up. You're going to see Twerk up there next year. You're going to see other people, I mean this year. You're going to see these guys that have been doing consistently well because I'm here to highlight the culture. But I do recognize where you're coming from, but I have to uh, correct it from the perspective of, yes, you do, everything that you do impacts your legacy. But everybody don't respect their legacy like you do. You know what I'm saying? And I, I gotta give you, I gotta give, I gotta give you hands up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of other motherfuckers don't have what you got going on in life, so that's why they be taking all these battles. You see these niggas every month, month after week after week after week after week. So that's what I would say. Now for y'all to battle, of course I'd like to see y'all battle. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did speak to ARP. You know what I'm saying? I saw him in New York too. And he's taking a break, you know what I mean? And I, I definitely, I ain't gonna hold you. I definitely was like, yo, what's poppin'? Like, you got you got goods there. He did his thing on Max Out. I'm there. I did my thing on Max Out. SP there. He did his thing. We try to figure out what's the next play. Like, yo, is you coming back? And he's really, like, chilling from battle rap right now. And it's a beautiful thing, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you're being able to do the things that you like to do. But, you know, the, the, the people that really love and enjoy this shit, we sitting around like, God damn, like, we scratching our heads, bro. I, I ain't a blog dropping every day no more. <laughs> I might be every two, three days because there ain't really shit to talk about. But I saw a Goods blog and I was like, yo, I thought it was so dope that he was able to intelligently break down his perspective on where I was coming from or what he might not have felt that I was looking at from his side and it does make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, but don't get it fucked up. I'm still gonna hold you to a high standard. So my high standard of where I wanna see niggas be is so high that it looks like hate sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It does, it really does. It's the same thing with twerk and the same thing with other people. But I just want niggas to handle their candle, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, if you are <laughs> if you are here cooking in the streets, you know what I mean, it'll never be nothing. But uh I just didn't want goods to feel like he could just go in there and money talk his way by past the big K because I didn't feel like at the time when I was recording the joint that that would be the premise of a battle that he could, you know, really have an edge in. But uh, I did think he made some good points, you know what I'm saying? So I will take, you know, I will salute that. Um, but I do want to see him battle. Um, I do want to see them battle. Do I think it'll happen now? I don't know. It'll pro If it did happen... Uh, it could probably happen on another league, like Chrome 23, and then, you know, RBE get involved. But I don't know if ARP is currently going to have an event in the first quarter, like a real event. They might do some more small things, like full circles, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like, trying to – I'm trying to hustle, but I ain't trying to figure out nothing too crazy to, like, break a news story to y'all. But I'm trying to figure out if the car is even starting in 2024, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm standing out. We, you know what I'm saying? It was a dope event. 
Uh, and you know, I just want people to know that if Goods responds to me, you know what I'm saying, that's my man in real life, you know what I'm saying, I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying, he fucks with me, so. And it, it'll never be I hate him or I hate on him, it's always going to be respect, respectful battle rap banter, you know what I'm saying. Then he said he worked his way into the top bloggers, I'm glad you didn't say you was better than me. <laughs> I'm glad, you know what I'm saying, I like, you, you played it for <laughs> You played it very well, man. Cause I'd have been like, nah, now nah, we bullsh. Now you playing? Nah, nah, nah. I'm fucking with you. But he has been doing great blogging. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's very informative. And like I said, I told him when he was um, I've always been a supporter of what he does in the blogging world because I feel like those guys got an angle and a perspective about battle rap that we don't have. I can't tell you what it's like to have to memorize my material. Like, I can't tell you, you know what I'm saying? I can't tell you about the preparation. I can't tell you about what it's like negotiating with leagues and this, that, and that. I cannot tell you. I can just tell you what I see and what I think, but he knows, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to him. Uh, I, I appreciate the response, you know what I'm saying? And it was definitely a well, I know you took some notes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I took some notes for you. I ain't gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you said that uh, we, you said you was talking about uh, everything in your career you do matters. You were saying that we think small. You was talking about The Rock being a gun bar king. You was talking about the old battle with you and gyms and people bring that up eight years late. So I definitely, you know what I'm saying, just did a little homework and I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of the subscribers that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. And also, make sure you subscribe to our new channel. I will pin it in the comments, you know what I'm saying? Stop the run. We basically gonna be talking about sports and just doing shit like that because it's fun and there's always something to talk about. We got a lot of episodes coming out this week you already know what it is man i'll probably be back with some more blogs and some more battle rap shit happens but it's been a really slow week you know what i'm saying it's been no peak to a slow week you know what i'm saying so i'm out peace